All right. All right, all right, all right. Welcome, everybody. Hopefully, everyone's having a great Radical Wednesday out there, dude and dudettes. It's your boy, Sean Slater. And today, we are playing some more AI, the Somnium Files, or Ah, the Somnium Files. We want to pronounce it. So, here we are with part three. We have two other parts. We've actually had a pretty long stream. So I think I played about eight to nine hours of this game. So, we're about eight or nine hours in. If you haven't seen the game before, I would definitely check out my YouTube page. Where I already have parts one and two up. The whole stream, I, I mean. It's mainly just a page to keep all my uh, past live streams archived, basically. So, it might be a little bit hard to find. But, but with that out of the way, I think we can get started now. So I got stuck at this part, and I think I know what I'm supposed to do. So you see that van? It might be hard to see, actually. Very hard to see. I barely even saw it. There's a van all the way in the back, and I think that's what I have to click. We're going to find out. I clicked everything, got stuck here. I was kind of tired, so I, I don't know. Well, all right. Hey, let's stretch real quick. Tired, man. Alright. Mm -hmm. I think if anybody's gonna show up, they would have shown up already. Alright. Something. Yeah, see, this didn't show up before. I don't know what happened. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I went like this, and I even clicked over there. Now it says something. Oh my, that's Cyrus. Damn it, is she okay? Unknown, but at least we know she's alive. The issue now is reaching her. Okay, here we go. Uh, that Iris was in the van at the end of the harbor. That there are two portable barricades on the way there. After I laid out, I stared into his eyes. Oh, hey, how's it going? You didn't miss much. I, we just started, so. Showed up right at the right time. What's going on, Scully? I'm glad you're here today, man. Hopefully, you're having a great Wednesday. Did you just end your stream, or did you. What are you doing today, man? Okay. He wants to talk to us. Okay, so, okay, one, two, three. Okay, okay. what do you want to ask? Let's deal with one. I told Moma about Renju and Peter's relationship. Okay. As you should have a bad feeling about this. Okay. Let's see, number two. Let's go in order here. There's more than lookouts. They've all got assault rifles. I really leave that information to MoMA. Guess not. <laughs> this is true. MoMA has a hunting rifle. Okay, that's good to know. We got a truck here. Okay, I think I think we're good. Obviously. Oh,
What? The game's not capturing? Oh my god. Okay, give me a sec. One one second, guys. Uh, I'm not gonna go to my break screen real quick and fix this problem. God damn. <laughs> That doesn't work. That doesn't work that way. Okay. Uh, hold on. Okay. No. I have Discord open. Okay, that that didn't fix it. Uh, I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> I usually have. Okay, give me one second here. There we go. That fi okay, I think that fixed it. Let me turn it down a little bit. Though. I think that's good. Is that good? Oh my god. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna have to turn the music down anyways. Hold on. I gotta turn. Hold on. I've gotta turn the. Uh, hold on. To I actually forgot to do this. I have to turn the, the music down. Um, voice volume's fine. BGM, I have to turn the BGM down actually too. Um, I think six is fine. Okay, I gotta turn the BGM down a little bit though. Okay, that should be fine. That's good, okay. Well, sorry about that, guys. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I just, I just did something and it worked. I don't even know what I did. Okay, I guess that works, that works. I have no idea why that like that okay interesting very interesting okay let's get back into the game here turn down the music a little bit because uh last time i had some of this music is like copyrighted so and uh it like my part of my part of my last ai the somnium file stream maybe that's why it was messed up because parts of my ai the somnium file stream the other stream that we had yet last week was messed up like parts of it was muted so maybe i maybe that was why okay I got it from the army, it's bulletproof even the windows. If you got it from the army, well, there are different types. I thought you were trying to run a non-violent gang. Well, that's exactly why. We got rid of our offense, so we needed a little defense. I suppose that makes sense, in a way. 
Okay, so we can use an armored ATV. It's completely bulletproof. I highly doubt that, but okay. Um, we have anything else here? Mo okay, we can talk to him again. Okay, summarize for me. So, what's the plan? We just, uh, well, we just run everybody over. That's the plan. Plan a car emerge from the darkness. Oh god, a car coming. Oh, who's this? Oh, what the hell? These kids aren't even old enough to drive. What are you doing here? Yeah, what the heck? You contacted us. What? I sent an IO message to both of them. Why? Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? They're just kids though. What the I'll save you no matter what, Iris. Promise me. Promise. And they're just kids though, like Hmm. Well, I, I, I see your point there. Now that's cruel, even for me. Uh, uh, Dante, who are the kids? <laughs> Don't call me a kid. Well, you are. She's in sixth grade. That's a kid. That's a mobster, bro. He's got a hunting rifle. I wouldn't be calling that guy an old man. Anyways, that didn't shook my head. I made the introductions quickly. They're not. What are we? This is a misfit. Yourself, old man. Really? He's got a hunting rifle. Like, <laughs> and he probably knows how to use it. He's like a mobster. He's a y yakuza. So you know, what are you yeah. talking about. You're all short and scrawny. Shut up! I'm not short. The Earth is just big. That argument is fallacious. And you're short too. No way. What the hell is going this isn't on? Even my final form. All my joints are folded up. I can get three times bigger than this. Liar! This went on for a bit. I finally got fed up and shouted at them. Yeah, let's just shout at them. Listen up, you idiots. You're here because you're all ASET fans. Water. Wet. Sweat. ASET. Fears. Upset. Regret. ASET. I need something like this. Gambling. Roulette. Bed. ASET. together and get our Tessa back. Yeah. yeah! This is our time to unite. Let's show them what we're made of. Yeah! All right. Shoulder to shoulder, heart to heart, we stand. Show no mercy for you shall receive none. Yeah! It seems they've already become good friends. Iris has extraordinary power. That's the power of e-girls, I have a good. power of e-girls. Okay. Explain the situation to Mizuki and Ota. Here's the plan. Ota, can you drive that vehicle? It's bulletproof, so don't worry. They can't shoot you. Yes, sir. Moma, I need your trigger finger. Get on the back with me and shoot any gunman you can see. You got it. Oh, I like Mizuki, this plan. You're our secret weapon. If it all goes south, we're gonna need your powers. Wait, what powers? Wait. Leave it to me. What powers does she have? Hey, Dante. What are you gonna have her do? Look it, she's something else. They won't take her down without a fight. What? Want to win? Sure <laughs> I don't. Yep. You should worry more about yourself, Moma. Wait, what? So now you know. Okay, we got a little badass over there. This is how we get through. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but our objective is to reach the end of the harbor. We need to rescue Iris from that van and then get the hell out of here. Any questions? All right, let's do this. Yeah, let's lock and load. We're coming for you, Tessa. All right, let's get Tessa back. Three, one, go! Oh, I could have cut her off there. My bad. 
And so Operation Iris Rescue began. My cat in here. Oh, my cat's not in here. No kitty, get away from me. No, my cat's not in here. Okay. Don't want him jumping up on the jumping up on my desk. Why isn't Mizuki in the car, like in the passenger seat? Like she doesn't even have a gun. Hey, look! Is that a tank? All right. Now these guys are dumb. That rifle should handle plenty of them. I have to think of something. But true, he probably doesn't have enough ammo. Whoa. We're going into the matrix here. Okay, here we go. Date, I have a plan. Is it a good plan? Just listen. You still have that pornographic magazine, right? Don't act innocent. <laughs> Last night you went back to Golden Yokocho. You found one of those magazines and hid it in your clothes. How did you know? I'm your left eye, Date. Of course I would know. Huh. Oh god, my guy's fritzing out again. Oh no. I can't just throw it away. So what is more important to you, Iris or Eros? Eros. Hmm? Oh, Iris. <laughs> Good. Hurry. They're closing in. Oh, uh, uh, wait. Can't, can't we? Just a porno mag, bro. There's plenty more on the internet. Oh. Oh my god. Wow, I wish it worked like that in real life, just throwing porn, ma porn mags at the guards, but like, yo, let me in. Date, now. Shoot the oh, yeah, we should probably do that too. Now's no time for the drum contains flammable liquids. Do you oh yeah. Fine. Commit Fine. mass murder, let's do this. About damn time, we commit mass murder in this playthrough. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. There we go. I think we got it. Or did we fail? I don't know. Oh, what? Oh, was I, to, I think I was supposed to actually press the triggers. Oopsie. Okay, hold on. I think we... Is it going to play through the audio? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. My bad. Okay. I think I'm supposed to press RT as well? I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. Because before it just automatically did it. There we go. That was really weird. Like, that didn't pop up before, huh? And I was right on it. Wasn't I right on? No, oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh. Oh yes. Those guys went flying. Like, you might want to speed up, dude. We're gonna break those barriers down. Oh, he's not gonna break them down. Then we are horrible shots. Wait. 
Well, that's a good idea. Okay, we're going back into the matrix. Whoa! Buy brought in panties anywhere, bro. Just let's go. Dante. Okay, okay. I just gotta throw it, right? One well, of the most epic throw in history. a bra hiding virgins here so dirty shameless absolutely shameless all right let's just murder these guys already good that went well now if we can cause that container above them to fall ooh i see it so, i can shoot the cable so for murder mystery to Something Illuminati to mass murder. I love this. This game's gonna get like a 10 out of 10 from me. Yeah, let's do this. Alright, here we go. Hold on. Those barricades don't really look any tough. They could have just ran them over. But oh well. Do I look like a guy with a plan? Find it. My turn. What? Wait, Mizuki. She's gonna get gunned down. Oh. Uh, uh. Idiot. Well, luckily they're bad. We're all bad shots here. It is Japan. Like nobody ever probably fired a gun before. Dante, Mizuki can't do this alone. I'm surprised she could do it at all. Like what? The, she's like a sixth grader. And get gunned down. Oh, he's dead. Oh, we're gonna die. Cover me. Hey, wait up. Wonder if we're. Oh, I don't know what we're doing here. Oh. Oh no, did I? Oh, we failed. My bad. <laughs> oh, we died. Okay. Oops. Sorry, uh, that happens. Okay, Let's do this again. I I didn't know I had to, I forgot I had to mash the buttons. Oopsie. Loma, cover me. Hey, wait up. Yeah, he's gonna cover you somehow. Oh, oh I gotta press Y. No, no, it was X. Okay, there we go. Oh my God. 
Oh yeah, and he's dead. Oh, okay, no mind. We're still alive. Damn. Holy cow. She's like totally dead by now. Like she's dead. She's died like at least like hundred times. Seriously? Yeah, I know, right? Oh. Oh damn. Oh wow. Oh, damn. Oh, okay, we did it. Yay! Somehow. And everyone lived. Well, at least we did. Goddess, your chariot has arrived. Date! Ota, mission complete. All right, got it. Wait a minute, how'd he beat us here? Oh, wait, never mind. I'm an idiot. Is he... I'm not just saying I am. Who would have thought that, that Pewter was the bad guy? After that, we split up and booked it. Momo got behind the wheel of his vehicle, Oda took the van, and I took my own car. Mizuki went with Oda, and Iris came with me. We drove as off as fast as we could, in different directions. The rain poured down endlessly. The neon lights of the city blurred faintly through the fine drops of rain. So we got the heck out of there. Okay, we got Iris back though, somehow. And none of our people died, even though they should have died like a hundred times right there. But hey. We're back at the shrine here. Okay, that's a good place to hide out. Date, Mama and Mizuki contacted us. They're all safe. Good. I breathe a long sigh of relief. What's with this offering box? I'm just going to ignore her for a moment. That's what we've kind of been doing here. Okay, we'll talk to her. I right, listened to her story. Did Pewter say anything uh, about the... Yeah, let's talk. Let's let's do the Winter Iris one first. You know. Looking at the Iris again? Oh, yeah. I can't see it well in the rain. You must really like this. Of course. We share the same name. Iris. Rainbow goddess. Yeah, that's what Uncle taught me. The uncle? Perhaps it is not the flower itself that Iris likes. Mm. Yeah, are you okay? Let's ask if she's okay now. Yeah, I'm a lot better actually. Um, sorry, by the way, for everything. During our escape, Iris got motion sickness. I decided to pull over at the Kumi Shrine so she could rest. Oh, and thank you. I never thanked you for saving me. You should be thanking those three. Some bodyguard I am. I put you in danger. That's not true. If it wasn't for you, I would have... Yeah. There's nothing else to say but thank you. Nothing in particular. I didn't talk to him at all in the car. What about the group of gangsters? They were all speaking different languages, so I didn't understand anything. Hmm, interesting. Hey, let's listen to our story. Do you think the fruit of immortality really exists? Legend about the shrine? Yeah. I told you yesterday, I don't believe in that stuff. I see. But you do believe in parallel worlds and secret societies. 
because I experienced that virus is sunlight. What about this uncle? uncle? Yeah. Not like romantically. I was 12 at the time, and uncle was already in a relationship. You mean with your mom? Oh, you knew about that? I've heard a lot. Like the Okonomiyaki incident? Yeah, the picture I drew. Right. We were always like that. We always acted silly and played around and stuff. I remember that in sixth grade, Uncle and I used to play hand games. Um, like ratty cakes. Hmm? It's like patty cakes mixed with rock, paper, scissors. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know. A man with no name. I only called him Uncle. Mama called him Falco. Ah! Dun dun dun. And so the secret's out. Falco. Yeah. <coughs> Isn't it a funny name? Yeah, it's a pretty funny name. I guess. I mean, he, he must be a really big Super Smash Brothers player. I mean, I guess that's the only thing I can guess out of it. Oh, maybe he wasn't Japanese. Probably not. I never found out where he was from. Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. Mm -hmm. It appears that Hitomi and the assassin number 89 were dating. What? Yeah, we kind of pieced it together earlier. To take the penalty. Up, up, side to side, up, down, pinch. <laughs> mm. And number eighty nine is with Renji now. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, that's your question. They've been asking that from the beginning. I didn't keep my promise. Promise? Did you forget? I told you that I would tell you who my late night visitor was if you went on a date with me. Oh, right. And we went on a date, so I guess I'll tell you now. Sunday at 2 a.m., I was visited by... Renji Okira. Dun dun. Wait, what? What? Okay. He seemed really sick. Probably because of his injury. At the time, I had no idea what had happened to him. He was sweating buckets and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, Come with me. He seemed really desperate. I couldn't say no. So I got into his rental car. We went somewhere. I don't know where. Some deserted building? Mr. Okira got out of the car, then grabbed my hand. He tried to pull me inside. I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. Okay. Oh, wow. I don't know. I haven't seen him or spoken to him since. Well, I didn't go home. I thought he might come back. I just walked around and went into a bunch of stores. Restaurants, coffee shops, net cafes. 
I was afraid that he would try to call me, so I turned off my phone, too. And then, at night, around 7 o'clock...